After a rather eventful wasp adventure with Zoila, I slept in, recuperated, and got ready to spend the day with my friend Susanna Trilling. She's taking me just outside Oaxaca City to the nearby town of Etla. Well, today is Wednesday, and when you're in Oaxaca, that's the main market day. For over 100 years, this is the place that's been overflowing with vendors, shoppers, indigenous foods from all across the state. And to navigate this place, you need a real pro. Sort of like uh, going in the back door in the restaurant, like Goodfellas. Susanna has been living in Oaxaca for over 20 years where she studied the regional cuisine. Today, she runs a cooking school called Seasons of My Heart. Susanna, I've been talking to her about this stuff right here. Uh -huh. Is this like a pumpkin? It's a squash, yeah. It's called chile cayota. And it's cayota. like a spaghetti squash. It has fiber. And they call this hairs of the angel. Because there's nothing like being in a restaurant, having a nice meal, and sort of popping up some hair from the angel. <laughs> Delicioso. Very Muy sabroso. Good. But when I see this stuff, I feel like I'm being haunted. No, ma no matter where I go around the world, these are chapulines. 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 They're, they're like grasshopper. a grasshopper. This is sort of like the mascot snack of Oaxaca, right? Yeah, it is. This is the state dish of Oaxaca. She fries them, and she makes a liquid with them? garlic, salt, and she used to see these chilies, the red chili. That's chili piquin. That's a hot, right there is this really hot chili. You can actually see that is your classic <laughs> grasshopper right there. Looks like a, a stand-in from Bug's Life, but this movie has a very sad ending. It's good. Very, Very hot. hot. Yeah, that's like number 10. One thing you learn in Mexico is that you've got taste buds and parts of your body that you never knew were there, especially when it comes to hot stuff. <laughs> Some tells me that I'll be tasting that in about six hours from now. Do you like chapulines? Yes. Okay, when you guys eat chapulines, you don't feel grossed out? Yes. No. no? Very, very delicious. Yeah. I imagine you probably go through a lot of dental floss with these things. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Adios. Hey. Adios, gracias. So you're gonna put the big ones? And then do you want some salsa or you wanna just try it with the guacamole? Because those are that's hot. That's a whole lot of uh Chapulines. Okay, that's now a roll whole it lot up. Of chapulines. Just like this? Yeah. That's hot. I know, it's hot. hot. They're just right off the kama. Right. So um What do you think? It's very good, it's very crunchy. They're good, right? It's really good until you get one of them sharp razor sort of hopping legs stuck in your tonsil. But it's good. Isn't it nice with the guacamole? Kind of good night. very smooth. If you did not know that you were eating grasshoppers, it would just taste delicious. Hey, vamos. Gracias. Hola. Well, this is colorful. This is this is Rosalia. This is mi amigo tardes. Jeff. Buenas tardes. She makes all the stuff at home. I'll eat anything. Okay, you want to try these are nopales? Nopales. Peñales. No, no, no peñales. Nopales. No, what's the, I've always said peñales. Peñales are diapers. A diaper. Yeah, these are diapers. Okay, so this, this is, is a fresh like nopale. And what they've done is they've scraped all the spines off it. But it was really interesting. This is actually the paddle of the cactus. And if you pop it open, you can see the soft, sort of squishy flesh. Very slimy. So I'm going to be very curious to see how it tastes when it's cooked. Yo. <laughs> I think I think after this I would be needing some pinales. I will need some pinales. Not the cactus, but the diapers. Okay, I'll give it a try. Bueno. Muy bueno, right? Muy <laughs> it's very slimy. Yeah, it's slimy. That's it. That's the claim to fame with Nopales. <laughs> Very delicious. And she's been here for how long? 30 years in this market. 30 years. You don't look a day over 28. Lisa, she said if she was a little younger. Hey. <laughs> and look at that. <laughs> she said she thought you were going to give it to her. <laughs> Gracias. Gracias. What's next? OK, you want to go see the meat market? The canaceria? I'm off. And the vegetables. vegetables. I love the, the colors, the smells, all the fresh herbs. There's a smell here, though, that smells uh, just a little bit more 
shall I say, intimidating. This is the meat market, isn't right. it? Right. Nothing is wasted, including the head. Oh, the head makes these fabulous beef tacos. They're called tacos de cabeza, and then you make Taco consomme. De, ta tacos de, de cabeza. cabeza. So basically, head tacos, and we've got brains, we've got the tongue. tongue, we've got the eyeball. This has the makings of a, of a gourmet meal. Oh yeah, and I have this great friend, Mario, who has a wonderful stand in Oaxaca. It's like a huge hit, just on the side of the street, and he makes all the different tacos, and I'll take you, and you can choose out if you want. Cheeks or eyeballs or whatever I'm ready. you want to eat. I'm ready. Okay.